We bought every kind of fidget toy we could find on Amazon, including a few we sell at Vat19, and now we're gonna rate how satisfying they all are. Okay, what's the first fidget? What is this? Every fidget you could think of is on this thing. Holy cow. Got little switches. There's an on and off button. Very tactile. Ooh. It's just like very overwhelming. Man, I think it's just too busy. I'm gonna go six out of 10. A little too much going on. I like the clicky clackies and the little joystick dealio. Mid, get it out of here. Magic snake, immediate, impractical. My first reaction is where could you possibly get on the subway? But I love it. It's just like a bunch of triangles that you can snip it and snap. This is the biggest fidget I've ever seen. I feel like I'm making a, a very sturdy balloon animal. I don't know where you use this. I mean, nine out of 10 satisfaction, one out of 10 usability. Is this the Stranger Things demon? So they're trying to avoid oh. the same Okay, so this is apparently the Stranger movie fidget toy. So I was wrong. It's definitely not Stranger Things. They have not violated any sort of copyright. This just happens to look like a Demogorgon. This isn't relaxing. This is terrifying. The center ones pop decently. That's a fine pop. But these ones here that are the flower seeds, they don't pop that well. I think I kind of hate it. It bothers me that only the center ones have good pops, except for these crotch ones. Like, I don't really want to pop the crotch on the Demogorgon. I would have loved to have loved this toy so I could give it an 11, but I do not like it. So I am giving it a three. The magnetic fidget slider. So it's got like a little hinge. Wait, is that it? I feel like this is like part of a fidget toy. It's fine. You obviously get the, the noise. Oh. Kind of starting to dig it a little bit. <laughs> this feels like like a detective playing with a lighter. The snap is where it's at. Kind of has like a, a, a playing card design. It's sleek. I think that's kind of what I'm liking the most about it. You know what? I was down on it at first. Now that I'm using it, I'm gonna give it like a seven. I like it quite a bit. These are the Magnetic Rings Fidget Toy Set. Oh, they're like little bearings and they roll around. Okay, the inside like spins with it so you can really get some action. Not very uh, ASMR aesthetic, but I could definitely see myself using this for hours. I'm gonna go a solid 7.3. Now we're talking, now we're getting expensive. Nano cubes, tiny little square magnets, super fun to play with, super fun to like attract and repel them and make them like spin and move around. I love these things. And also the sound. I think all of our magnets are good, but the squares are particularly fun. They're easier to build with. It's like magnet Legos. This is like a 10 out of 10 fidget. Like nothing is more fun than magnets. This is the Caterpillar light up fidget toy. Oh, you shake it? Yeah, it's got a little bit of light up. It's kind of fun. I like the colors, cosmic bowling vibe. The bottom have these little suction cuppy things. Oh, I like that. That is a satisfying sound. The pops are fine. They're not the most satisfying. There's a lot to like here, but I'm gonna give it a five. Oh. What the heck? This is the fidget gyro. It's got kind of a gyroscope in it. Pretty neat for about 10 seconds. Is this just it? It's like a three. It's fine. I did it. Yeah, I know this one. This is Crazy Aaron's Cracklin' Kraken thinking putty. It's got little like styrofoam beads in it. The putty like makes a nice snapping sound. It's on the tougher side, but it's really nice to just stretch. I'm gonna go a solid seven. Let's test the bounce factor on this one. That's a good putty. That's a good putty. All right, all right, all right. This is the rotating rainbow stress ball. It seems to just be a, a hollow plastic ball with like a squishy ball in the middle. Pretty quiet. What it lacks in noise, it also lacks in fun. This is boring and bad. I give this a a two out of 10. I think you'd almost get the exact same experience if you just like had a tennis ball in your pocket and squeezed it a little. Same amount of fun squish, same level of silence. I go Wilson for this one. What? Little peapod? That's cute though. Oh, they're attached. Oh, they have little faces? Oh, only one of them has a face. So the middle one is sentient. The other ones are not. 
kind of hard to do. You really have to pinch. Maybe it's meant for littler kids. Maybe I just need smaller fingers. I like it. I don't love it because I can just do the one. I want to do them all. Look at that, a six and a half. I think there are a lot of people who would like this, but it doesn't quite fit my fingers that well. Get it out of here. These are nano dots. They're just little uh, magnetic balls. They have a very audible fidget. You can make like little structures with them. Like most magnetic things, they're just kind of fun to play around with. Yeah, these are great. This is like a six or a seven out of 10. This is good. Good job, nano dots. Oh, they're loud too. Whoa, the pop ball fidget. So I guess it's got these little pop it things. Here we go, I'm gonna pop a bunch of them in and give you one nice satisfying clickety clack. Here we go. I was expecting a lot more out of that. This one's fun. It has that whack-a-mole effect where like one goes down and another goes up. I'm gonna go 7.5. Oh my, this is a fashion fidget. And if you know anything about old Sloan, right? Loves fidgeting, loves fashion. A lot going on here could be a keychain. I enjoy that. I like the portability of it. It's got some fun stuff. It spins, it's got like a pop it. Whimsy's off the charts for this. I'm giving this a solid seven for creativity, but like a three for craftsmanship. I think this will break in moments. This is the geomagnetic fidget sphere. You have these little pieces. They have one, two, three, four, five sides. So each side has a little magnet in it and that way you can join them all together. Am I making a fidget sphere right now? I would say out of the ones I've seen, this is the one that's most like a toy. Like it doesn't have the super satisfying texture to it, but it has more playability. I'm gonna give it a solid seven and a half. That's just me and I am right. Bubble wrap tissues. I've never been big on bubble wrap. I do like the really big bubble wrap. That's like one of my favorites when you get the pops that shake the earth. The small stuff is fine. You can do this move. That's where it's at. The score is gonna take a hit from the cleanup aspect of, of this. I'm gonna give this a five. This is your baseline popping sort of fidget thing. It's fine. It's good. Purse first, people. Oh, and this one has eyes. It do be popping. I struggle to conceptualize the outfit this is perfect with. The eyes, I don't understand. As a practical fidget, I'm gonna give this, unfortunately, I think it has to be a 10. What's more practical than the fidget that you keep all your other fidgets in? Design, solid two. It's a popping purse. This is Tangle Harry, fun texture. It has all these interlocking pieces. They twirl and bend and twist. I like the colors. It's a simple toy. You just kind of twist it. It doesn't blow me away as much as some other fidgets, but this is just nice, simple fidget. You know what you're getting? I'm gonna give it a seven. Yeah, it's a seven. I like it. The rotate and slide puzzle? This is one of those little puzzles where you kind of have to, to move things around. I'm already losing my mind here. It's just a really satisfying haptic sort of feel whenever you move these little dials. At the same time, I'm very frustrated. I don't want these colors to get mismatched. It's like when you get a fresh Rubik's cube. This is a five. I just want to keep it like this. This is the simple dimple. Super satisfying. Throw it on a keychain. You know, you're driving, you're in traffic. That's all you gotta do. I really like this one. Super simple. It's not very overwhelming. This might make it out of the seven territory, rating wise. I'm going eight. Oh no, roller. Oh yes, roller. This fidget is silent. And it is the most satisfying, easy to replicate movement. It's just two independently spinning rollers that are also attached on this kind of pivot. And so you can just have it in your hand and keep, oh yeah. It's all the fun of being that dude at the gym with the, the grip strength thing, but it just feels good. I made a terrible mistake earlier. I had given other things a level 10. This is a 12. No fidget is better than this fidget. <laughs> Oh, it's a squirmy slug. I know this guy. This is just a simple fidget. They make this really cool sound. But it's also this constant wavy motion. It has a sound machine vibe that has sort of an ocean vibe. I think this has been the best one so far. I'm giving it an eight. The donut fidget toy, ah, here we go. This is the stuff. This is the fidget toy that has like 400 fidget toys on it. You've got the metal marble you can just kind of move around. You've got a button. 
that kind of click clacks, little levers that do sort of move back and forth. And it's all in the shape of a donut. I hate to be harsh on this one. This is kind of a cheap plastic. I feel like I could break this pretty easy if I wanted to, but I do appreciate the variety. You're getting quantity, you're lacking quality. For quantity's sake, I'm gonna give it five. It's okay. <sighs> Whoa, this is the infinity cube. It looks like it's just like a cube on a bunch of weird hinges and you can fold it any way you want kind of. It's very clickety clackety. I am kind of frustrated that there's some ways it doesn't fold like you want it to. I can see myself sitting here for a while and just folding away. I would give this a 7.5. Ah, the Twiddle Mega. Folks, this isn't my kind of fidget. I think I would get the same enjoyment just from a bag of loose parts. It feels nice in the hand, a little pokey, but you can wear it. And that's, you know, you love a little bit of drip in the fidget game. This is a strong four. Huge update, I've been told this glows in the dark, so it does feel the same, but now you can do it in the dark. Five out of 10 for cool factor, but it's still, I'm still, this isn't my favorite kind of fidget. Oh, this is a small one. Oh, it's like a bunch of rings all joined together. Okay, I'm told this is called the me ba me 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 be me be. I think it's a play on Mobius, like a Mobius strip. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this. Am I doing it? I guess you just twirl them. Yeah, I don't know. I think we over-engineered fidgeting. I give it a three. I like it. Noodlies. I have never actually played with these before. Whoa. Very stretchy. Feel like there's a lot you could do with these. I don't know if they're as, as fidgety as I'd like. I think they're just fun, interesting toys. But I like them enough that I'm gonna give them an eight. They're just too cool. Dang. Pop sockets, pop puck. Right away, awesome portability. Small, sleek keychain, and that's nice. The sound? It's a good sound. The magnets flip and flop, which I enjoy. If you are an athlete, apparently you can like shoot your magnets and catch them. I don't know if that's in the cards for me. I'm gonna give this fidget an eight out of 10. I like how sleek and portable it is. I like that there's a trick you can learn, um, but it's not getting a 10 out of 10 because it is hard for me right now. Get your hands on Curiously Awesome Fidget Toys plus hundreds more gifts at vat19.com. I might change my rating on this. Bat19.com